As you can see by this thing growing on my face, there hasn't been a lot of diving going on recently. So I decided to make a video about kingfish because the weather here has been absolutely sh Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, my name is Daniel Mann. I do videos about spearfishing and in this one today, I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to shoot a kingfish because it's the time of year when they show up just before Christmas or probably last month actually that they show up in big numbers on the east coast of Australia. You can find these things basically everywhere in the world. They're in Africa, Australia, New Zealand, America. They are, they get around. This time of year where I'm from leading up to Christmas, you typically get northerly winds and green dirty water, but with that comes a lot of kingfish and you start getting this run up and down the East Coast from around late October all the way through summer. So now's the perfect time to get out there and target one of these fish. The first step to spearing any fish as always is locating the fish. So where do these things live? I'll start by saying kingfish can show up absolutely anywhere. I have seen these things in pinnacles that are 30 meters that come out of 50 meters of water. I've seen them swimming on the top of these pinnacles, just on the surface saying hello to you. I've also seen them swimming out the back line of a reef just behind the breakers. I was swimming out off Kingscliff one day. It was probably December actually. I was swimming out past the breakers. I could almost stand up in the water and massive shoal of kingfish came past. I ended up shooting two in the one shot, straight into a snap clip and ended up losing one unfortunately. But the one I did get was 15 kilos. So be prepared, you can get them absolutely anywhere. To get a little bit more specific than that, kingfish are predators and thus they eat bait fish. So if you can find an area with lots of bait fish, that's typically where you will find kingfish. Best places to find bait, the upcurrent side of a piece of reef where the water pushes onto it, brings nutrients, little fish, little particles, the bait fish eat that, and you're gonna find predators, kingfish, mackerel, all sorts of things like that. One of the best things about kingfish as a spearfisher is they are a curious fish. So often they will find you before you find them. If you hang around in an area with lots of bait that they're patrolling, going up and down, they will find you eventually and you will see them. The other great thing is they're not always on the bottom. Most of the time you'll see kingfish hanging midwater, and occasionally you'll get them on the bottom, but not very often. Sometimes they'll even be right on top on the surface, just milling about, having a look at you, looking at your fin tips. Often this happens when you're in an offshore pinnacle. I've shot kingfish in some extremely dirty water, four or five meters visibility. So just because the water's cold and a bit green doesn't mean they're not going to be there. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely putrid visibility. The next step for a kingfish dinner is actually getting close enough to the kingfish for a shot. Now, most of the time you'll see them hanging midwater. you'll be on the surface and you might be able to spot the school from the surface. The best thing to do is make a calm, slow duck dive, non-threatening. I know it's very hard to do when your heart's racing and you think, big kingfish, I wanna shoot one of these things. But the best thing to do is just go, imagine it's slow motion and try and Nice and slow, like every fish, but particularly kingfish, you can spook them if you dive really hard at them. Same for mackerel and loads of other fish. Basically, there's not too many fish out there that if you scream at them really quickly, that they're gonna respond well. No, there's, there's nothing, don't do that. Just go slow motion. Once you've made a slow, silent, non-threatening duck dive, you don't always want to head straight towards the fish. If you dive slightly off the sides of them, it rouses their curiosity and most of the time they will just come in and have a look at you because as I said, they're a very curious fish. Another tip when you're trying to get close is don't wave your gun around like your Harry Potter expelliarmus and all this sort of stuff. If you wait for the fish to swim in front of your gun, hold it out, it swims in front, then pull the trigger, you're way less likely to spook the fish. Occasionally you might get a kingfish that doesn't want to know you at all, will not come in for a look, you've dived on it and then it sort of goes away. As a last resort, what you can do is strum your spear gun rubbers on your gun like a guitar. Not that I play guitar, I am musically inept, I can't do anything on an instrument, I can't even play a triangle to save my life, but I imagine strumming a guitar is, you know, you do that ging 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 thing, use the bands as the strings. Another option if you're not actually seeing the fish is to dive to the bottom under the bait, 
all the way to the bottom. And most of the time, if the Kingfisher are around and they're curious, they'll come up to you that way. So you don't always have to dive on them mid water, but if you see them from the surface, you should have a dive on them. If you don't see them and you think it's a good fishy area, hit the bottom, stay there, and the Kingfisher will probably swim up to you like this. On that note, in that particular clip, I was looking for Mulloway. So if you shoot one of those Kingfish, Bye bye Mulloway. So that's the caveat. If you're looking for Mulloway, don't shoot a kingfish or anything else actually, because they will spook. You can see in this clip here, Josh Ball is looking at a massive shoal of Mulloway and there's a kingfish above it. If he would have shot this kingfish on the drop, he would not see this school of Mulloway. Kingfish are absolutely filthy fighters, unlike a mackerel. If you shoot a kingfish straight through the middle and give it some slack, it's gonna get to the bottom and try and rub your spear out, roll on the bottom, bend it. They will tear themselves in half to get out of your spear. The best shots for a kingfish is obviously a stone shot, so you want to shoot behind the head, out the cheek of the fish. This way it controls the head of the fish, and if you give it some muscle, you can get it off the bottom and control it a little bit more. If you shoot it mid-body like a mackerel, it's gonna keep powering away through that reef and you can't control the fish at all. Another good shot if you're approaching these fish from above is down the back of the shoulder and out the throat. That way you're more than likely going to hit the heart and it's gonna bleed out and tire much quicker than if you just shoot it down through the middle. And again, you probably won't bend your spear. If you imagine this is the kingfish swimming like this, you don't wanna shoot it square through it like this. You wanna shoot it on an angle. So when the fish runs, the spear lays flat against the fish like this, because if you shoot it here, it's gonna bend the spear. Nobody wants to be replacing spears unnecessarily. Don't be afraid to let these things run a little bit if you can keep them off the bottom. Let them do a few circles, let themselves tire out and wear themselves out before you bring them in. Otherwise, you might have a bit of trouble on the surface with them. Also, when you're fighting kingfish, be very wary of where your rig line is around you. These things could easily drown you if you get tangled up around your ankle or something like that. When you're pulling it on a rig line, always swim forward and have the rig line laying out behind you next to your float. So you're always swimming forward every single time that you're fighting a kingfish. That way the rope won't pile up around you. Same for a real gun. What I often do is I sling the bands of the gun over my arm, have that on my shoulder, and I'll swim forward and pull the rear line up and the rear line's all trailing behind me so I don't have any risk of getting caught up in the line if the fish decides to come to life and take off. Otherwise, yeah, it's not a pretty ending. You've wrestled this kingfish, you've dispatched it humanely with a knife to the head and brained it. You must always bleed kingfish, otherwise the meat is full of blood when you go to eat it and it's not really that nice at all. The other thing is to always put your fish into an ice slurry in an esky in the boat or chilibun as the New Zealanders would say, or cooler as the Americans would say, but a large vessel for holding ice and fish, whatever you wanna call it, wherever you're from in the world, I don't care, you know what I'm talking about. Same goes for every fish, stick it on ice, it's always gonna taste better. To be honest, I haven't eaten a kingfish in a very long time, but someone who gets amongst them a lot and has probably got some good tips, Harry Lindley. If he picks up. Hey! Howdy, mate. What's happening? I'm making a YouTube video about kingfish. Are you busy? No, I'm, I'm happy to help. <laughs> kingfish, haven't eaten one for a while. Best way to eat it, straight up. Okay, uh, kingfish nuggets, maybe panko if you're feeling naughty. How do people find a kingfish in Sydney? What do you, what do, you do, what's the key? The people who are finding kingfish in Sydney, they're in the, in the water more, so time in the water is what you want. And then you want effective time in the water. You wanna be in the water with current, so less stagnant water, more movement, the better. Uh, big fish, eat small fish, so you'll find them at the buffet. You wanna be in there with them, uh, getting down below the light and looking up uh, to, to actually see the kingfish hunting the bait fish. And lastly, I generally find when I'm on the surface, I can't see the kingfish as well because they're green and the water's green. So you dive down and look around, I have more chance of seeing them and more chance of them coming in. There you go, that's how you shoot a kingfish in Sydney. And I noticed that uh, you use an unconventional shot placement. You like to shoot them straight through the middle like a dartboard. Uh, obviously, that's probably not the best. How's that working out for you? Yeah, it's uh, not the best at times. Uh, I find shooting in the lateral line, aiming forward, and getting it so the shot goes out the gill plate uh, gives you a nice holding shot. Also, from the yellow to the green is where the spine usually is, so you can get a stone shot if you aim there. There you go, Harry Lindley. His channel will be linked below. I'll let you get back to your day, mate. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks, mate. 
So there you go, there's a few more extra bonus tips if you're in the Sydney region. Check out Harry's channel, he's got some wicked videos about kingfish and also Adreno in Sydney. I'm not affiliated with Adreno at all, but they do do kingfish seminars from time to time. That's all I got for you on this video, guys. If you get out and shoot a kingfish with any of the tips that myself or Harry gave, be sure to tag us on Instagram in your stories or your post because I would love to see you getting out and putting actionable advice in and getting your own kingfish because it's a pretty exciting feeling when you get your first one. This is my first one that I can remember and it was a pretty special feeling. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you on the next video which is going to be in 2020 because I'm going skiing in Austria over New Year's, so I won't be around making any videos. Plus the weather here is pretty crap this time of year. But next year, got loads of trips planned, got a big trip in the spring coming up in Norway, going to Italy as well, hopefully to chase some Dentex. There's some cool stuff on the horizon. So see you then. Absolutely shocking. Didn't expect me to say shocking. You thought I was gonna say shit. Are we still rolling? We are still rolling. Oh yeah, we're still rolling. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs>